Hey everyone, Mitch here. Uh, I just thought I would come and, uh, and, and chat about the events of Berlin that we, uh, we had um, in the final round of Formula E. Obviously going into the, to the final race, we were in contention of the championship. We got a podium on, on day one, which, which put us in a really strong position for the race um, on day two. So it comes across and they're going to be side by side into seven and Evans is through. Only five points off the lead. You know, I just had to have a strong race, you know, maybe get a podium, obviously go for the win. Championship leader, Nick De Vries, 13th on the grid. Eduardo Mortara is second in the championship and he is 11th on the grid. Those are the two that have to chase their way up through the order to try and catch Mitch Evans if they want to stop him winning the world championship title. All we needed was a, it was a strong race and, and we probably would have been champions. And Evans doesn't move and he's been hit! Mitch Evans has been hit by Eduardo Mortara. Two title contenders out instantly. So being investigated, actually, what happened? We're not too sure yet. Um, but obviously, really heartbreaking oh, for it to happen. Just, you know, originally like at the start, didn't really get a good run at trying to uh, you know finish the job. And you know, I really feel for the team. Um, it's taken a long time, um, and it will take a long time to get over. Um, I'm still hurting, and I will for. A long time but look that that sport sport is cruel um especially motorsport you have more bad days and good days unfortunately this was a very dark day and it was looking well, really good um, up until that point so um Obviously they're really gutted but uh, still we got uh, fourth fourth in the drivers and we're run, runners up in, in the teams one of the most dominant races in the history of the championship mitch evans wins in mexico city we had a big push back home with Fan Boost, but I just want to say thank you for that and, and obviously keep pushing for, uh, for that Fan Boost for next year. Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming. Just want to tell you that I'm not going anywhere. And I've just recently signed a new multi-year deal with Jaguar Racing, which I'm extremely excited about. Um, I've been with the team since day one, back in 2016, and it's been five great seasons. We've built it up from from the back of the field to the front, and it's been great to be part of that that, that journey, and to be you know in that sort of um, that forefront of this new era of automotive and motorsport industry with electric vehicles. It's it's a it's a really cool process to be part of because a lot of the tech is is relatable, and obviously motorsport is the best is the best test bed um, you know for for tech. So. Um, yeah, excited that, you know, Jaguar is obviously really committed to it. 2025, they go fully electric with all their production cars. So, um, formerly is the best, the best championship fan to, to market and showcase their, their technology. So, um, looking forward to the future, obviously looking forward to a little bit of a break, but, um, we're going to come back in season eight strong and, uh, hopefully set things right.